It's the lineup. Ten runners are ready. And they're off for the TB Hanuman Raj Memorial Trophy. Good break at the gates by all the runners. It's Devil's Magic showing out in the early part of the race from Ahan Justin. Behind that is Aquamatic towards the inside. In the center is Ahan. The perfect choice comes in next. Racing five horses wide is Golden Time. In the center making a forward move is four wheel drive. Around the far turn it's four wheel drive narrowly ahead of Devil's Magic. Racing three horses wide is Golden Time followed next by Ahan. Another two and half lens behind is aquamatic towards the inside the perfect choice on the outside southern power comes in next towards yeah. the inside is the favorite sophia followed next in the field by memorable time and altamont as the field of 10 runners head inside the home straight with 500 to travel Devil's Magic with 450 meters to travel is narrowly ahead of Ahan. Followed next in the field by four wheel drive. The homeward bound with 400 to travel. It's Devil's Magic from Ahan. Followed next by Sophia on the outside is Aquamatic on the wide outside. It's the perfect choice. Into the last 250 meters. It's the favorite Sophia in the hands of Pete Trevor is about a length and a half to the good of Aquamatic. Followed next in the field by Ahan. On to the closing stages. It's Sophia from Aquamatic. Sophia from Aquamatic. Sophia holds on to win the TV Hanuman Raj Memorial Trophy from Aquamatic. Ahan has finished third, followed next in the field by Altamont, Devil's Magic, Southern Power, then came Golden Time, Four Wheel Drive, Memorable Time. And finishing on last was the perfect choice as they crossed the winning post. Seventh race of the day. I'd start with the owner of Sophia, Mr. Dala Chabria. Congratulations on that win, sir. How were you feeling leading in a winner on Derby Day? It's always a pleasure to lead in a winner, but I'm not a bad loser either. So I, it's, after all racing, may the best horse win is my motto all the time. But then when I have champions like Suleiman and Trevor riding, Suraj with me, Naredus, so it's time on a safe wicket. Thank you. I think you copied my line because I say also made the best horse win. And, and when you've mentioned that you know, you're not a bad loser, that's when it tells that you're, you're a man for the game and a man for horses, I would say. Well said. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We move on to the trainer. I think now Mr. Suleiman has got a knack of ending the day with the winner. It was done yesterday and today. Very sparingly raced uh, Sophia, uh, five-year-old bay mare. She come out and give you a win today. How are you feeling? So basically she's a very talented filly, she's had a lot of issues, she's just coming right, uh, so she's from Chabelle's batch, Chabelle's retiring but we're keeping her, we're going to give her one more year of racing and see how what, what she can do for us. I mean, even after the five starts, she's given you three wins, so that, that's a good uh, form to go by I would say. It is, it is, she's, I, uh, I think she's got a lot of, I feel she's a very able filly, that's why we're giving her one more year of racing. Congratulations on that win, sir. Moving on to a jockey who's made it a habit now to come and win races and get his interviews taken. Jockey P. Trevor winning the derby and bringing up a treble on derby day. Trevor, tell us about Sophia and uh, how was her ride today? Uh, initial, I was in good position. The pace dropped suddenly due to which I had to fall back. Uh, she's come on very nicely. She took the gap very smoothly. I expected her to do win much better way, but she just managed to win. So congratulations on that win and many more to you. Thank you.